Philips is a global player, um, used to be a pure electronics player in both B2B and B2C spaces. But over the past decade, we've transformed into a leader in health technology. Personally, I work in the B2B space where typical customers are healthcare professionals like radiologists, cardiologists, um, and that's also the products we, uh, we, we accommodate for. And what I actually do is I drive, I grow uh, the demand and capability globally across businesses. So that means that I not only focus on the acquisition of business, but I also uh, relate to the reputation and the loyalty loop as they are considered as the hot uh, charcoal on which, to, on which we put the log, in this case, the demand gen and the generation of leads. The challenges from a demand generation perspective, we were facing low business impact, low conversion rates, and a lot of finger pointing between marketing and sales. That's what we wanted to solve. Um, as in so many companies, um, demand generation was considered something to be entirely owned by marketing, whereas it's the collaboration between marketing and sales that really makes the change. Support we got from Forrester is pretty diverse, to be brutally honest. Uh, of course, we had many inquiries with the, with the specialists, the researchers, the analysts. Uh, but what really started the change was the uh, demand waterfall. The approach we took was starting from the demand waterfall was really to identify the problem. In our case, the problem was more in the upper funnel, which created a lot of frustration at the sales side. So what we did was we analyzed tons and tons of lead descriptions um, and bucketed them. What we noticed were huge differences in channel performance, um, broken customer journeys, uh, pretty poor call to actions within our properties, etc., etc. Once we did that, we also had a bucket left with people who reached out to us via the sales inquiry form because there simply was no other way to engage with us. To mitigate that, we added customer journeys and thus cleaned up the funnel. Secondly, we clearly were also facing the second lead syndrome. Um, and to fix that, we um, unlocked the buyer groups and we allowed people to convert uh, leads into existing opportunities. As such, we kind of like strengthened the collaboration further between marketing and sales. The work we did really tapped into the core of how we do marketing within Philips. Um, so it's not easy, but the results were so amazing and, and, and rewarding. Just to name a few, uh, we cleaned up the funnel um, and reduced the inflow of leads by 47%, resulting only in high quality ones to be worked upon by sales. Secondly, uh, we improved the lead to opportunity conversion by a factor of three. And ultimately, we were able to grow our order intake related to leads by a factor of five. So really amazing results, justifying all the hard work we did together. What I value the most with the interactions with Forrester is the interaction with the people. I mean, they're very knowledgeable, but also inspiring. It's never a plain question and answer. It almost feels like they equip me, they empower me to be successful by giving me tools, models, insights, etc., etc. So regardless of any future ask, I'm empowered to do so.